Um, how long have you been doing martial arts and how do you think it inspires your art? So, um, a lot of people don't know this about me, but before I ever picked up the brush, I was an avid fighter. And, <coughs> excuse me, um, I actually got thrown into the nation for Taekwondo. And this is something I was obsessed with because I, I think it comes from a combination with the fact that my father was an old school, like military kind of guy. And he, you know, he was very big on sports. And I thought a lot about this actually. And the intensity that you see in my work and the scale, it shows a man who wants to use his whole body when he paints. And I'm almost trying to channel this same spirit visually. So my former studio before I came to New York was in Adams Morgan in DC and it was called Ronin Studio. Now the Ronin is a was they were wandering samurais as most people know but a lot of people don't know this but the Ronin was actually this is if you look more in detail of, of their history you know after the feudal period these people had no no these warriors no longer had masters so what most of them did is they put down the sword and they picked up the brush towards calligraphy or poetry. So I felt that was analogous to me because I was a serious fighter. But I, w I, I really loved painting. So I was this weird creature where I was trying to capture this idea onto the canvas. And um, that explains the intensity of my work, I would say. So yeah, mar martial arts are a big part of my life. Um, you know, it's almost like that ritual is almost like a second father. And now I'm trying to apply those same principles in my painting, I guess. So I very much am this weird warrior artist in a way.